Ever wondered how colossal a ship must be to carry 20,000 containers across the vast oceans? Well, welcome to the amazing world of container ships. These maritime marvels are not just floating giants, they are the lifeblood of our global economy, transporting goods from every corner of the world. Over the years they have grown in size and capacity, reflecting the increasing demands of global trade. Today we stand in awe of the world's largest container ships. They're not just ships, they're floating cities, capable of carrying thousands upon thousands of containers across the vast expanse of our oceans. Their sheer size is enough to make anyone feel dwarfed. Their capacity, it's staggering, almost unbelievable. But believe it, these ships are real. And they're a testament to human ingenuity and technological advancement. But how did we get to this point? Where ships are so enormous that they seem to defy the laws of physics. The journey to these maritime titans began modestly, with ships that could barely carry a hundred containers. Indeed, the roots of these behemoths lie in the humble beginnings of the mid-20th century. The first container ships were largely experimental, with companies testing the waters of this novel approach to cargo transport. They were mere specks compared to the giants we're familiar with today, capable of carrying just a few hundred containers. As the benefits of containerization became clear, the race to build bigger and better ships began. The 1960s witnessed the birth of ships capable of carrying over a thousand containers. This was a significant leap from the initial vessels, marking a new era in maritime transport. Yet, the appetite for growth was insatiable. The subsequent decades saw a flurry of technological advancements and design innovations. The introduction of cellular design in the 70s, for instance, revolutionized ship construction. This allowed for the stacking of containers, dramatically increasing capacity without a corresponding rise in ship size. The 80s brought with it the Panamax vessels, aptly named for their ability to squeeze through the Panama Canal, the largest that the canal could accommodate at the time. These ships could carry up to 4,000 containers, a far cry from their predecessors. The turn of the millennium ushered in a new class of ships, the post-Panamax vessels. With the expansion of the Panama Canal, these leviathans, carrying over 10,000 containers, redefined the boundaries of what was possible. Yet the march of progress didn't stop there. Today we have ultra-large container vessels or ULCVs that can carry in excess of 20,000 containers. The advent of these maritime marvels was a result of continuous innovation and a relentless pursuit of efficiency and economies of scale. These milestones, each a breakthrough in its own right, have culminated in the creation of the modern-day titans of the seas. They stand as a testament to human ingenuity and the indomitable spirit of progress. And so we arrive at today, where container ships have grown so large they're a spectacle in themselves. So we've journeyed through time, witnessing the evolution of these maritime behemoths. From their humble beginnings as simple cargo carriers to the colossal vessels we see today, these ships have truly transformed the way we transport goods across the globe. We've seen ships that can carry over 20,000 containers, dwarfing any structure on land. We've traced their growth, driven by advancements in technology and the relentless pursuit of efficiency. From the invention of the container itself to the cutting-edge navigation systems that guide these giants across the world's oceans, it's clear that innovation has been at the heart of this evolution. Yet it's not just about size and technology, it's also about the challenges the industry faces. From environmental concerns to infrastructural limitations, these issues are pushing the boundaries, driving the creation of bigger and more efficient ships. While we marvel at these giants of the sea, one can't help but wonder just how much bigger can these ships get?